Trust the Profits, Sephora Miller here, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Robert Lewis Stakes being run at Santa Anita this weekend. But first, it's that time of year. You guys are asking about our tip sheets, our formula derived tip sheets. We've got two packages for you. Both of them are available on YouTube. If you hit the join button, those options are flight line. So for $20 a month, we give you all our tip sheets, which is going to be every derby prep race. It's going to be everything within the triple crown. You're going to get at minimum three tip sheets, three slates per week. For that $20 a month. We also have a rich strike level if you just want to get one Saturday slate per week. $8 gets you all that. Again, you hit that little join button you see down here, right below our, our video here. You see it on any of our videos. Um, but let's move on from that. Last week, a couple days ago, Southwest Strategy, uh, we had Arabian Night on top, value play of Corona Bolt, and then Arabian Night, Jace's Road, Sun Thunder, Corona Bolt. As you can see here from the little print, we were correct on Arabian Night. It was very chalky, though. Not a whole lot to celebrate there. Everything we had underneath was uh, scrapped to the side. So hopefully you picked Red Route 1 if you were playing an exacta along with Arabian Night. It was slightly profitable, better than uh, what I sold you last week. But we're here to improve, and we're here to talk about the Robert Lewis field. Oof. Four horses, all Baffert horses. February 4th, 2023, this is going to be run. It's a G3, eight and a half furlongs. That is one and a 16th mile on dirt. Let's get ready for it. Starting at the top, Arabian Lion. Let's see, second Baffert horse named Arabian something. Three races, one win, one second place. Last time out, fifth place at Los Alamitos Futurity, a G2 race going eight and a half furlongs. Finished 12 lengths behind practical move after being favored at two to five by the public. So it was a heavy favorite going in, was in second place most of the race, and then just faded. Finished second place at a seven furlong, 160K allowance race before that at Keeneland. Stalked for most of the race, dual giant mischief at the end, and lost by less than length. Wired his first race out at Santa Anita going six lengths. Got to go back to that uh, that Los Al race. Was it the distance that was a problem for Arabian Night? Is he more of a sprinter? Or is it just stretching out for the first time, faded a little bit, and uh, learned something? Got a little bit better this time around. That's going to be the big question in everyone's mind for Arabian Lion. Next up, Newgate. One win out of five races, two second place finishes though, um, and so far he's he's accomplished quite a bit I would say, even though he's only got the one win. So second place finishes in his last two races, both G threes the Sham Stakes, one mile, lost by a neck to reincarnate, and was about three and a quarters ahead of National Treasure in that race. So running with some pretty strong horses within that Baffert stable, and at the Bob Hope seven furlongs, lost by a little bit more than a length. To having a meltdown so he's losing to two extremely strong horses in that two to three year old category has raced in two g1 races so far the claiborne he's in that second pack the one that was about six lengths behind loggins and forte he was fifth place overall so in that pack he was the third of that pack but he was in the company of red route one who we just talked about at the southwest stakes finishing second to arabian night Get that one right? Arabian Night? Yes, I did. And Instant Coffee, who previously won the LeCompte a couple weeks back. Uh, it's a ba Bob Baffert horse. Um, yeah. Uh, what else can you say about Newgate? Probably the favorite in this race, but there's a lot of Baffert horses here. Four out of four. Next up, we got Worcester. That's right, baby. Worcester. Two races, one second place lifetime. Has yet to break his maiden. Last race out, finished second to Hijazi. Only go only a, a one and a quarter length behind at Santa Anita. Was actually starting to close in that race. How about that? Wicked. First race out, maiden special way to Santa Anita. Started out at the back of the pack. Sixth place, seventh place, eighth place, depending on the, the spot in the race. And then he rallied. Finished fourth, six lengths behind Faustin. Not too bad. Not too bad. Seems to have close-up potential, this one. And, uh, yeah, curious to see what he does with all that distance. Now, moving on from him. Yep, that was awesome, wasn't it, everybody? 
rally for that. Next horse we have up here, hard to figure. Four races, lifetime, one win, two third places. It's at the Bob Hope finish, fifth place in that, 14 lengths behind, having a meltdown, and did not look good. Started out early, grabbing first place, fighting his jockey the whole time. Looked like he didn't want to be there, or at least didn't want to be where his jockey wanted him to be. And uh, quickly ended up being fifth out of fifth in that race. Um, just did not look good. Won the Capote Stakes, three lengths and six furlongs over Massimo, for whatever that's worth. Third place in a pair of maiden special weight races at Del Mar before that. Hasn't run for the distance. Seemed to be... Um, hard to figure during his last race so what we got going on here what am i going to say there's only four horses here obviously newgate is the the safe bet here i think worcester yeah donkey baby dunkin donuts is going to be your value play in my opinion i think he's got some closer potential here so if something does go on with newgate if he doesn't handle the the distance well i think worcester would be right there to to uh rally so to speak to to pick up the pieces and you might be able to get a price i think boxing wise i'm not a big fan of the other two horses to be honest with you especially at this distance so if you did want to box a couple together or play an exacta newgate on top worcester behind if you think worcester has a chance to to beat newgate you could box that up those are the options there but with four horses what else can you do um that's that's what i got i know that said southwest strategy that was supposed to say the uh Strategy for Robert Lewis. Take it with a grain of salt. You know what it is. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Tell me who you got. Four horses. Not a lot to say. Bye.